There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together, take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together, take me back where I belong Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode 1 of The Sims 4 in the City. So welcome to the first episode of my brand new series The Sims 4 in the City. This series is going to be a city based let's play on my channel and it's going to be quite different from the other let's plays I've done on my channel before. The other let's plays I have done have been quite chilled, they haven't had too much going on in them. Some story here and there but this one is going to be quite different. This series is going to contain a lot more of a story and have a lot more of a storyline. It has a lot more characters to it. I think the vibe is just going to be quite different so I'm really looking forward to it. I cannot wait to bring it to you guys and I cannot wait to play it and I hope you are all very excited for this series too. But don't worry it is still going to be family based as well since that is my favourite type of gameplay to play. This episode is just going to be an introduction episode so it's going to be a bit more slow than the rest of the episodes will be. So today we are just going to be meeting a few of the sims that are going to be part of this series, explaining our main characters backstories a bit and just getting to know them and just showing you what this series is going to be about and the general vibe of it. First things first is we are starting off this morning with our main character here Kimberly. She has just gotten out of bed I would say she's been awake for about an hour now. She is just sitting and having a morning coffee and watching some TV before she needs to wake up her daughter ready to take her off to preschool this morning. But before we do carry on with the gameplay I'm gonna start off in my traditional fashion of jumping into Creator Sim so I can introduce you to Kimberly here and also I'm gonna introduce you to her daughter as well. So let's quickly jump into Creator Sim and you guys can meet our main characters for this series. So here we are in Creator Sim and first off I would like you to meet our main character of this series, Kimberly Kensington. As you can see I feel like she is quite different from a lot of the sims that I have played with before. If you would just like to skip straight to gameplay I will put the timestamp up on screen but if you would like to stick around for the Creator Sim part I am going to give you a quick introduction to Kimberly and tell you a bit about her whilst I do show you her outfits. So Kimberly grew grew up in San Sequoia with her parents. She lived a happy childhood but unfortunately for Kimberly her world came crashing down when sadly her mother passed away shortly after Kimberly's 16th birthday. This left Kimberly and her dad Carlos distraught but things started looking up for them when eight months after Aurora's death Carlos was actually offered an amazing job opportunity in San Maishuno so they made the big jump to 
start afresh and move to the city and I think for Kimberly that kind of saved her. It did take a few months for Kimberly to adjust to city life as she'd always lived in the suburbs so the city was very new and unfamiliar to her but she soon got used to the city and fell in love with it and has of course stayed there ever since. Kimberly enjoyed her high school years in the city, she met some amazing lifelong friends and made memories that she will never forget. University was right around the corner for Kimberly. However, just two days before graduation, she found out the shocking news that she had accidentally fallen pregnant. Luckily for Kimberly, her friends, her boyfriend and her father were all very supportive, especially her father who helped her out so much during her pregnancy and once her daughter was born as well. Since Kimberly had such a big support system behind her and people to help her look after her daughter as she did grow up, Kimberly had the time and was able to attend a university and graduate from university with a honours degree in fine arts to pursue a career as a style influencer. Fast forward three and a half years, Kimberly now lives in her own apartment in the city, working on her career and raising her wonderful daughter. So that is a bit about Kimberly and also I did show you her outfit as we went through that as well. As you will see, Kimberly's outfits do have a lot of neutral colours and a lot more basic colours. She wears quite a basic style but I think it's also quite sophisticated. She's also quite fashionable as she is a style influencer so I can imagine she probably keeps on top of a lot of the fashion trends but I'm really happy with how her outfits turned out. I also wanted to show in her outfit that she is still quite young. Kimberly is only around the age of 22 so she's not too old. She still likes to dress very fashionable and clothes are a very important part to her life. As for Kimberly's traits, she is creative. She definitely is naturally creative and she got that trait from her mother as well. Her mother was also in a very similar job to her and she also had a very creative side. So I definitely think that is where Kimberly got that trait from. Kimberly is also a high maintenance sim. I've never actually played with a high maintenance sim before and I thought it would be fun to play with that trait. Not only that, I could see Kimberly being quite a high maintenance sim. She cares a lot for the way that she looks and the way that she presents herself. She goes to the spa often, the gym, she gets her nails done all the time and they're very important things to her to keep her happy. So I'm looking forward to playing with this trait and seeing how it pans out with her as a character. And then Kimberly is also ambitious. She's a naturally ambitious sim. If she has a goal, she will work towards it and she won't stop until she kind of gets where she wants to be. And she is also very work driven as well, which I think we will see quite a lot in this series too. And then as I was playing with her, she also did unlock the additional trait family oriented. So over time, Kimberly has just discovered that she's a very family orientated sim. I usually give this trait to my sims, so I didn't give it to Kimberly, but she did just unlock it herself. So I did keep it. And as for Kimberly's aspiration, I feel like in general, Kimberly would have a lot of different aspirations in different aspects of her life. But overall, Kimberly just wants to be a great parent to her daughter and that is a big priority for her in her life. So that is Kimberly. I can't wait to play with her and I have a lot of story to tell with her so I'm really looking forward to playing with her. And lastly we have her daughter and this is her daughter here Aurora Kensington. Aurora is super super cute. There's not too much of a backstory for her as she is just a toddler right now but personality wise she is independent. I feel like she's grown up quite independent because of the life that Aurora does have. She kind of is here there and everywhere because her mother is so busy with work. She goes off to her dad sometimes, she goes off to Kimberly's friend's house, she goes off to her granddad's house quite often. So I feel like Aurora is kind of used to being by herself quite a lot of the time. Even though she is with people, I feel like she is just quite independent from that and she's happy doing things on her own as well. But this is Aurora. As you can see, she doesn't actually look too similar to Kimberly. She has a different hair colour and eye colour. I can definitely see a lot of facial features from Kimberly though but she definitely looks a lot more like her dad. But I will quickly show you through Aurora's outfits too. She has again quite a fashionable sense of style. That is mainly because Kimberly does dress her in really fashionable
fashionable outfits but I think that she looks super cute. I feel like Kimberly would love dressing Aurora up and giving her really cute clothes. I think she dresses her in a lot of neutrals, purples and pink colours the most but there is some blue in there as well and a few different colours but her colour palette is definitely quite similar but I think her outfits turned out super cute and I love this dino hat that I gave her as well <laughs> and I think Aurora is also going to be quite a big part of this let's play too. We are going to see her grow up and I'm really looking forward to that. I think her story is going to develop a lot more as she gets older. Also I wanted to start with a toddler with the let's play because usually I start my let's plays with one sim and then they meet a sim and then they have kids and things like that where I wanted to start off with something a bit different but still keep farming aspect in the series. So that is why I have begun with a toddler sim and her mum. Also I'm not too sure if I did mention but Aurora is around the age of three and a half now so she's quite a grown-up toddler. She can talk and she can walk now so she's not a small toddler at all. She probably will be growing up quite a bit during this series and reaching the top of all of her milestones hopefully. So that is Aurora. I really hope that you like the main characters that we are going to be playing with in this series. There are many more sims to me and more characters that we're going to meet very soon but for now I just wanted to introduce you to our main characters but let's jump back into game after that long creator sim introduction and we can finally jump into gameplay and begin the first episode of this series. So we've now jumped back into game and I would like to give you a quick apartment tour. It's going to be very quick as we do just live in an apartment and it's quite small. So this is Kimberly and Aurora's apartment block. They do live in the Spice District in San Myshuno. One day Kimberly definitely wants to move to Uptown, that's her ultimate goal. But for now she has an apartment in the Spice District but it's definitely a very nice one. So a quick tour of their apartment when you do walk in the front door. It takes you into this hallway area, there is just Aurora's stroller there, some umbrellas and then over here we have some pictures that still need hanging up on the wall and then there is just a unit here with some bits and bobs. Aurora's preschool bag, just some plants and things like that. Then I will show you the main area of the house first. So this is the kitchen and living area and you will see throughout this house I did use a lot of custom content. In my own gameplay I do sometimes tend to build houses and furnish houses with Maxis Match custom content. So I thought why not use build custom content for this let's play as I'm just really into using it at the moment and I think it looks really nice. It's a bit of a mix up from the usual Sims 4 build and buy so I thought that's why I had to give it a go. But this is the kitchen. It's very neutral. The house is very neutral coloured. It's very bright though. The sun does shine in, in the morning. You can see the shadows there. Lots of white and neutral colours but a few black tones here and there. A very very nice kitchen though. I'm very happy with the way that it turned out. And then over here is the living room area. There's a dining table over there and then over here is the lounge area where you can sit and watch tv then if we head back into the hallway i will first show you the bathroom again another very neutral bathroom i apologize for the shadows does anyone else get this problem with the apartments <laughs> where when you are in the camera all the shadows go kind of strange there's a laundry area over here and then we have the main part of the bathroom with the sink, toilet and also the shower as well. And then I will show you Kimberly's bedroom. This is Kimberly's bedroom but she also has her workspace in here as well. A bed area, she has a big mirror, a big big wardrobe with lots of clothes, boxes and suitcases. So that is Kimberly's room. She spends a lot of time in here working when she's not going into the office. And last but not least we have Aurora's room. Her room is also very very cute. There's a lot of different toys around and just decorations as you can see. Some things up here that she made at preschool and she also has this really cute fairy teddy bear on this unicorn that she made. Probably She probably made that with her dad. She does a lot of different things like that with her dad when she does visit him. A few bits and bobs on her bookshelf, some toys down there and then just some decorations and things like that. And Aurora is currently down here asleep. That is a tour of the apartment. I really hope that you do like it. It took me quite a while to furnish it. So today to begin this series we are just going to be spending a day with Kimberly 
and we're just going to be seeing what she gets up to in a typical day in her life. Before the story starts to unfold, I feel like we need to have something a bit more calming and just see what Kimberly gets up to in a day. So it is 7am as you can see and Kimberly has just come into Aurora's bedroom to come and wake her up. She's going to give her a morning hug and just say, good morning, are you ready for preschool this morning? Kimberly's going to grab Aurora some breakfast. So for breakfast, she is going to have an apple, strawberry and banana kind of porridge mix. So that is what Aurora is going to have for breakfast. And whilst Aurora does do that, Kimberly is going to come and get dressed. She is planning on heading to the gym this morning as she's going to be working from home today. So she does have some extra time to head to the gym. So I think she is going to probably wear this outfit today. It's something to keep her a bit warmer as it is cold out today. Kimberly is going to grab some breakfast when she does come back from the gym. So for now, she is just going to grab a snack, probably just some fruit. She's going to cut up some apple slices just to have a quick snack to give her some energy for the gym as she doesn't want a full meal. It looks like Aurora is enjoying her breakfast though. I also just realized I completely forgot to mention when I was showing you Aurora in Crater Sim. I didn't even address the fact that her name is Aurora and Kimberly did call her daughter after her mother, kind of to remember her mother by which I think is really sweet. Aurora does need to be in preschool in half an hour so Kimberly is going to come and get her dressed as well. It's quite cold out today so I think today we are going to dress Aurora in a jumper and some leggings. That's quite a comfy outfit to wear to preschool too. Aurora also really needs to use the potty so I will get her to go before she does head to preschool and whilst Aurora is doing that Kimberly is just going to come and quickly clean up after breakfast. Then she is just sending a quick text to her friend Vanessa just to make sure that she is still up for their gym session this morning. Aurora is all done now so we are going to head to preschool now. Kimberly is going to drop her off so let's head over to Aurora's preschool and drop her off so then she can have a great day today. Kimberly and Aurora have arrived at the San Sequoia daycare. Kimberly is saying goodbye to Aurora and saying, I hope you have a good day, sweetie. Go off and play. Aww. <laughs> so Kimberly is going to wave goodbye and Aurora's friend Ava is actually waiting for her outside. And they are both going to head inside together and hopefully they have a good day today at daycare. And Aurora does go to preschool in San Sequoia. For the series, I would like to imagine San Sequoia is on the outskirts of San Myshuno, so maybe about a 20 minute drive away. But Kimberly is gonna head back to her car, drive back to the city, and it's time to head to the gym. Kimberly has now arrived at the gym. She goes to the Sky Fitness Gym in Uptown. Kimberly is on the treadmill and her friend Vanessa is standing right next to her and Kimberly just fell off the treadmill. They're gonna do a quick gym session. Kimberly usually heads to the gym around three times a week, sometimes by herself but usually with one or two of her friends. And this here is Vanessa. This is one of Kimberly's friends. Vanessa didn't have too much work to do this morning so she said that she'd come to the gym with Kimberly. Vanessa works as a social media influencer and she lives in the fashion district. Her and Kimberly met on a work trip and they got along really well and have stayed friends ever since. Vanessa is very much a party animal. She loves going out, she loves going clubbing, she loves to dance, she just loves all things like that and if we look on her profile we can see it that she is a dance machine and insider and she's a bit hot-headed as well and you will also see that she is a notable newcomer. Vanessa is a one-star celebrity and that is mostly because of her doing social networking and being on Simstagram she does have a lot of followers so she is quite well known and she has gained some fame from that but I am really looking forward to playing with Vanessa some more as well and there is a couple more sims that are part of their friendship group which we will hopefully meet soon. Most likely not in this episode but next episode for sure. These guys are just doing some quick yoga to cool off and they were both trying to do headstands but looks like they still need some practice with that. They're just doing some yoga to stretch after working out on the treadmill. Kimberly did just come for a quick gym session so I think after this she is going to head home because she does have a lot of work that she needs to get done today. These two have finished their 
their workout now they got in a two hour gym session so I think they're both quite happy with that I think before they leave though they're gonna take a quick picture together and just upload it onto Instagram probably just with some hashtags just keeping everyone up to date with what they're getting up to today especially Vanessa so they're gonna take a picture together and upload that on to Instagram and I'm sure that Kimberly will upload that later on onto her profile too once she does get back home these two are gonna say goodbye to one another now though they both need to head off back home and get on with work especially Kimberly she has a lot that she needs to do today Kimberly saying I'll catch up with you again in a couple of days remember we have girls night out I can't wait I've been waiting for a night out for so long Kimberly is gonna quickly come down and use the bathroom and then she's gonna get going just as Kimberly was leaving the bathroom her phone went off and her dad has actually called to chat with her so I can imagine she's probably gonna put in her airpods and walk on home while she's talking to her dad so she's probably saying hey dad let me just put my airpods in I'm gonna talk to you whilst I'm walking home from the gym <laughs> so we will let Kimberly talk to her dad on the phone and we will meet up with her again once she does arrive back home Kimberly has now arrived back home she has come in straight away and is making herself some late breakfast slash lunch she has made herself some avocado and eggs on toast today but today Kimberly is working from home and her work from home assignment today is just to upload some images probably she needs to put some posts out of some things that the company have been working on maybe it's some sneak peeks and some teasers of what clothing lines are to come so Kimberly is going to come and take a brisk shower real quick and then she is going to get dressed and ready for the day we'll also get Kimberly to put on some washing as well while she does work just to keep on top of the household chores so we will wash the laundry we definitely have a late start today I feel like Kimberly may be panicking a bit just thinking oh my gosh I hope I can get all my work done before I need to go and pick Aurora up so she's gonna sit down and log on for the day and we'll get her to share an image I think firstly she's gonna share the images that she took with Vanessa at the gym and then she's gonna share some stuff on the website for the company that she does work at Kimberly does work for a fashion company she works for quite a high-end fashion company too she's worked her way quite high up in her job which I think she's very proud of for sure she's nearly finished with that though and I think she is going to probably glance at her phone or her watch and see that it is nearly 4 p.m unfortunately for Kimberly she does still need to do some art pieces for the clothing designs and she needs to get that done by today otherwise it's going to push her back she's going to get up from her desk just for a quick stretch she's going to grab her phone and she's actually going to text Aurora's dad to say I'm so sorry but please can you pick up Aurora and bring her home I have so much work backlog today and I don't think I'm gonna have time to come and pick her up and Aurora's dad has said yeah of course I'll pick her up from daycare I'll take her to the park and then I'll bring her home at around 5 30 is that okay and I think Kimberly would have said yeah that's fine thank you so so much for doing that and Aurora's dad is gonna say no problem see you in a bit so luckily for Aurora she does have some time to do some quick sketch impressions so I think she's gonna come and sit down and do that she's gonna sit in her favorite chair and she's gonna sit and do some quick sketch impressions and I think she's gonna put on some focus music as well just to help her concentrate Just as Kimberly wraps up for the day, she hears a knock at the door and it is Aurora. Aurora's dad has brought her home from her daycare. Kimberly is probably going to say to Aurora, did you have a good day today at preschool? And Aurora's dad is saying, she's been really good. She was telling me that she had a good day today. And Kimberly is saying, thank you so much for bringing her home. I really appreciate it. I had so much more work to do than I thought I did. And this here is Aurora's dad, Aiden. Aiden and Kimberly have known 
known each other since high school. They grew really close really quickly in high school and they did get into a relationship. There is no bad blood between these two, they are literally just friends. But when Kimberly did fall pregnant, they did stay together for a little while. But Kimberly just decided that their relationship wasn't going to work out and she kind of wanted to do mum life on her own. But Aiden did really want to be part of Aurora's life still and they kind of came to a compromise and right now everything works out great for them. But we're definitely definitely going to be seeing Aiden a lot in this let's play because Aurora does spend a lot of time with her dad and they do get along really well. They have a really really cute relationship. But Aiden is going to say to Kimberly, well I better be off, I have to head out this evening. And I think Kimberly is going to say, oh you going out, where are you heading? Anywhere exciting? And Aiden is actually saying, oh well this evening I actually have a date uh, with a girl that I met at work. Kimberly is going to be like to that, oh a, a date? Really? Oh okay, well have a good time I guess. And again thank you for bringing Aurora home, I really appreciate it. Are you still okay to look after her this weekend? Anna Aiden is going to say thank you, hopefully the date will go well and of course me and Aurora are going to have a great weekend together this weekend. So he's going to say goodbye to Aurora and head on home now. These two have come on inside now, Aurora is just telling Kimberly about her day. She's saying I did some colouring with Ava today, we coloured in princesses and we coloured in dinosaur pictures too. <laughs> so these two are going to sit and watch some TV together, I can imagine Aurora is very exhausted from her day today. So these two are going to just spend some time together relaxing and I think as Kimberly watches the TV I think she is going to be thinking a little bit about what Aiden said and about him going on a date tonight. She's probably just thinking oh well I guess he hasn't been in a relationship for a while now. I just hope he has a good time I guess. It's a lot later on in the evening now. Aurora has had her dinner and she is going to head to sleep now. Kimberly is going to read her a bedtime story. It looks like it's a story about dinosaurs. Kimberly tries to read a story to Aurora every evening. It's kind of a way of them to bond together because Kimberly especially is busy so much that moments like this with Aurora are very special to her. But that is where I'm going to be ending today's episode. I really hope that you did enjoy. I've really enjoyed recording episode one of this brand new series. I cannot wait to get more into it and more into the story and the meeting more of the characters. This series is hopefully going to be a lot of fun and I hope you're all looking forward to it. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Let me know in the comments what you think about Kimberly, what you would like to see with Kimberly maybe. I would like to hear your opinion on episode one and the series so far. In next episode we are actually going to be going on a girls night out with Kimberly and her friends. That's going to be a lot of fun. They are still young so they do still love to go out clubbing and partying every now and then. So I'm really looking forward to doing that in next episode and I hope you are all looking forward to it as well. But other than that thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you did enjoy. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I will see you again very soon. Bye! Bye.